Number one is if it's starting to fail a lot, you know, and most good mechanics track their price, you know, their cost, and, you know, and if they're doing more maintenance, if it's depreciated, let's say it's like depreciated value of the unit's three thousand, and last year you spent seven eight hundred dollars to repair it, doesn't take an Einstein to know that you're going to get upside down really quickly, plus the time that it's broken. So that's usually good justification for replacement. Plus, the longer you wait, you have no resale. That's two schools of thought, but you got to be able to get the money. You know, I ran my equipment way past the point of no return. Five years ago, if you'd have bought it, it would have cost 60000 You waited the five years, now it's cost 72000 So there's a rationale. You've run it into the ground, and you still need to replace it.